So my name is Van Brokrief. I am a PhD student at the Department of Automation and Technological Processes at uh, Russian State University of Poland. Yes. So my co-author is uh, Sergei Vladimirovich Vaskovsky, uh, senior researcher at the Kapeznikov Institute of Control uh, Sciences of Russian Academy of Sciences. Uh, we would like to present the um, uh, scientific book. Uh, the topic is gas quality determination using neural network model-based uh, system. I would like to start from the urgency of our research. Uh, so the uh, natural gas uh, quality analysis is an important um, task for the uh, gas industry uh, slight fluctuations of natural gas composition and uh, energy uh, characteristics can lead to uh, unexpected difficulties in calculating of cost uh, indicators. So currently a wide variety of different uh, natural gas analysis systems are developed and uh, many alternative systems uh, that uh, work in real time are under development. So uh, the traditional gas chromatography systems has uh, had many uh, drawbacks uh, such as expensive uh, specialized equipment, um, significant amount of time of analysis and the necessity of uh, regular uh, instrumentation calibration and checkout. So in modern, uh, in modern uh, systems, um, uh, statistical models are used to um, eliminate uh, limitations of traditional methods uh, the most important um, is uh, real-time operation. So, and I would like to uh, present uh, the developed system of uh, natural gas quality analysis. So, the uh, structure of the system is shown on slide. So, the system consists of three uh, main blocks. Um, uh, we suggest using commercially available and uh, relatively inexpensive uh, sensors for natural gas uh, physical parameters measurements. So uh, the measurement data include um, a list of uh, physical gas parameters, uh, speed of sounds, uh, thermal conductivity and uh, carbon dioxide molar fraction. So the first block uh, that is called uh, pseudo gas uh, composition determination uh, is considered to be the main block of the system. Uh, so the task of this block is simplifying the studied object and uh, minimizing the amount of measured physical parameters. So uh, then uh, the calculated uh, composition is transmitted to the next block uh, where uh, calculation of energy parameters occurs. So uh, the third block um, is used for energy parameters accuracy check where um, the accuracy characteristics are calculated. So um, the main uh, accuracy parameter uh, is based on a number of accuracy characteristics including uh, maximum absolute error, uh, mean absolute error, maximum absolute percentage error, and mean absolute, uh, absolute percentage error. So in case of uh, final error parameter, parameter is less than uh, maximum um, limiting value, uh, so the system provides the target gas quality parameters. Uh, in opposite case, um, the stage of the gas composition determination that uh, occurs in the first block uh, is repeated. So now I would like to um, describe the first block in detail uh, because it's uh, the most important block of uh, proposed system. So uh, this block consists of uh, many sub blocks. Um, Gas mixture block forms a natural gas composition. Then the simulated gas mixture are uh, reduced to equivalent uh, pseudo gas uh, mixtures in pseudo gas mixer block. 
uh, so then physical uh, properties uh, are calculated using uh, NIST RevProp software. Uh, then the correlation analysis, analysis uh, occurs. So uh, this block um, is used for choosing uh, input parameters for statistical model. And so uh, in this uh, block, uh, Pearson uh, correlation uh, coefficients are calculated. So we uh, choose uh, the list of physical properties such as speed of sound, thermoconductivity, dynamic viscosity, and others. And we, uh, our task is to find the most appropriate physical parameter that um, correlates with output uh, parameters such as methane molar fraction, nitrogen molar fraction, and other molar fractions of um, natural gas components. So after uh, the correlation um, analysis uh, ends, uh, next uh, stage of uh, system operation is comparative analysis of statistical models. Uh, is, it's considered to be a crucial part of our uh, system, that's why it will be described in detail in following, um, following slides. So, um, after our uh, statistical model uh, is selected uh, and uh, its architecture and parameters is attuned, so we need to prepare data for uh, training and testing the model. So, uh, it's uh, most parts of our system. So um, the stage of uh, statistical model selection um, is considered to be uh, the most important of our part of our system. So, uh, and moreover, I would like to add that uh, we implement uh, the two uh, stages of accuracy check. First one on training stage uh, and second one on testing stage. Uh, and after these two um, procedures will be successful. So then our model uh, is simulated on uh, real data and we obtain the target uh, composition of uh, gas uh, components. So now uh, I would like to move on um, the part that uh, dedicates to development of um, statistical model. Uh, like I said, this part includes uh, a few uh, stages. Um, and the first one is um, statistical model selection. Um, so, uh, Uh, for statistical model selection, we uh, conducted a, a comparative analysis of models. So, um, first of all, we should uh, check a list of models that can be used uh, for the discussed task. So, this, our choice is based on um, analysis of sources, of different uh, literature sources. And um, moreover, uh, we should take into account the feasibility of uh, implementing our um, statistical model. So the following models were selected to comparative analysis, uh, multi-parameter linear regression, rich regression, Gaussian process uh, regression, and neural network. So uh, the multi-parameter linear regression can be considered uh, in the discussed problem as a reference model. So it can be used um, to obtain a result uh, that will be taken into account as a reference uh, result uh, as a, the most uh, simple model for uh, the discussed task. So the rich regression is used to um, is used in discussed task with uh, data, data redundancy, 
as one of the most um, uh, known methods of uh, dimensionality uh, reduction. So uh, in the problem under study, this is possible when um, input parameters relate with each other. It means that the uh, process of correlation analysis was not uh, quite successful. Uh, so the Gaussian process uh, regression is a non-parametric or probabilistic model of the process, all uh, finite dimensional solutions of which are normal. So the Gaussian process regression uh, model addresses the question of predicting the value of a response uh, variable. So, uh, and the final model of uh, this part of research is neural network model. Uh, in our case, it's a, a three-layer uh, network with a sigmoidal activation function in a form of uh, hyperbolic tangent for a hidden layer and a linear activation function for the output layer. So the levenberg markov algorithm uh, was used as a learning alg algorithm. Uh, we choose that um, algorithm to optimize the parameters of uh, nonlinear regression. Uh, so model like our model. Uh, so the optimization criteria of uh, the chosen algorithm is uh, the standard error of the model on the training set. So the main idea of, uh, of uh, our uh, chosen algorithm is to, act, uh, to achieve the desired local optimum by, by approximating the given initial parameter values that are physical uh, parameters of um, guess. So all uh, selected physical models uh, were trained on the same data um, that was generated according to uh, requirements to guess natural guess. So the selected models um, were trained on the same data several times, and then uh, average accuracy characteristic of the model um, for several training cycles were taken uh, into account for um, checking the analysis adequacy. So after the um, conducting the statistical uh, model um, analysis, we uh, calculate uh, accuracy parameters uh, that were mentioned above. And we uh, choose uh, the uh, neural network model as the most uh, most accurate for our case. So uh, as you can see on the table, uh, the neural network model uh, shows uh, the higher accuracy in comparison with other models. Uh, so I would like to mention that uh, we uh, assess uh, the accuracy uh, both for training stage and for testing stage, uh, because the model can give uh, good results on training and uh, on testing stage can be difficulties with new data and then uh, um, we need maybe we need uh, to uh, retrain the model on uh, different data. So after um, selecting the model, the next step of our system is to uh, select uh, model, uh, model architecture and uh, parameters. So um, for uh, this step, we uh, selected a few neural network architectures. Uh, first one is uh, multi-layer perceptron uh, that was used on previous stage um, and two other architectures are uh, more difficult in comparison with this one. Uh, they are um, 
a simple recurrent neural network and uh, a recurrent neural network with long shown uh, with long short term memory. Uh, so um, the procedure uh, of comparison of these models is the same as for uh, previous uh, statistical models. So we uh, train and test uh, all these models in uh, similar um, conditions and choose uh, the most uh, accurate model for our task. Uh, so uh, first model that uh, we use is um, multi-layer perception. Um, so this uh, model uh, is, uh, the architecture of model is uh, shown on slide. Mm -hmm. So it's a three layer uh, neural network. Uh, the number of uh, neuron, uh, neurons in the input layer is chosen uh, for the case um, when the concentration of carbon dioxide, the speed of sound and the thermal conductivity uh, are included in the set of input data. Uh, the number of neurons in the hidden layer uh, is chosen um, for the particular model uh, and will be uh, tuned at the next stage of uh, our system. So the number of neurons in output layer is chosen for the case of four component uh, gas mixture. Uh, so the next um, architecture is uh, simple recurrent neural network. Um, recurrent neural network is a class of neural network that can use the internal memory uh, when processing input data. So the functioning of this class um, of neural networks is based uh, on the use of previous network state to calculate the current one. So a recurrent uh, network can be considered as uh, several copies of the same network, uh, each of which transfers information to a subsequent copy. So uh, the number of neurons in all layers are uh, the same that uh, in previous architecture to um, provide the uh, equal condition for each uh, architecture of, of neural network. So, and the final uh, architecture that will be discussed in uh, this task, so is long shown long short memory uh, is, so this uh, architecture is considered to be the most um, complex in the discussed topic. Uh, so it's a special uh, type of architecture of recurrent neural network. So uh, this architecture is capable of learning long-term uh, long dependencies. Uh, so in this architecture, a more complex method is used to calculate both uh, the output value uh, of the hidden layer and the output value of the network as a whole. Um, the method involves use of so-called uh, gates. Uh, gate is a special unit in such type of architecture that is uh, implemented as a logistic function and the operation of element-wise uh, multiplication. So the logistic, logistic function layer uh, shows how much of uh, input information uh, is coming from a particular unit. Uh, so which, uh, which percentage of uh, such information should be transmitted further along the network. So the mm, general uh, architect, uh, the general recurrent neural network with such type of uh, architecture uh, is the same as for the simple uh, recurrent neural network taking into account the um, provided unit in the hidden layer. So we uh, conducted a comparative analysis of uh, these three uh, neural network architectures um, in a similar way uh, that we conduct for statistical models at previous uh, stage. 
Um, so according to results of our uh, uh, research, uh, as a simple recurrent neural network uh, was chosen as the most accurate uh, model for the discussed uh, tasks. Um, uh, according to their accuracy assessment uh, at both uh, training and uh, testing stages. Um, so after choosing the main architecture of uh, statistical model, we uh, should uh, choose um, the parameters of this architecture. So um, we should mention that uh, the dimension of input layer is determined uh, by the number of uh, input physical parameters. The dimension of, of uh, output layer is uh, also determined by the number of um, concentrations of gas components. So therefore, the number of neurons in hidden layer is the most uh, tunable parameter for uh, our case. Um, so we uh, conducted analysis um, the models with, uh, with different uh, amount of neurons in uh, hidden layer and according to uh, our comparative analysis and uh, assessment of accuracy characteristics so we choose uh, the model with uh, 11 uh, neurons in hidden uh, layer uh, so the accuracy characteristic at uh, testing stage are provided in the table. Um, so we can see that the um, 11 neurons uh, in, of, in hidden layer is the most uh, accurate architecture in the discussed uh, case. So to sum up, uh, the simple recurrent neural network with three layers and uh, 11 neurons in hidden layer was chosen uh, as um, the main statistical models model uh, for our task. Um, so the next uh, stage of the system is to uh, simulate this model on uh, theoretical data. Uh, first, uh, task is to train this model. So um, I would like to mention that a few uh, procedures were conducted before training, uh, normalization and uh, cross validation. Um, <clears throat> so uh, testing, training and uh, simulation of model uh, were conducted in uh, MATLAB software with uh, NIST F4 plugin. So um, the main uh, aim of uh, model uh, simulation is to verify system efficiency on the theoretical data. So the uh, initial data uh, that was that were used for training testing simulation includes uh, gas mixtures that are based on uh, typical natural gas composition. Uh, so. The simple recurrent neural network that uh, was uh, developed uh, at the previous stages, uh, that was chosen at previous stages with determined architecture and parameters, uh, was using as a working model. So uh, the data, the initial data was divided on uh, two sets first for training and second for testing. And um, for simulation, the special data set was uh, formed. It included uh, 200 um, special gas uh, mixtures with calculated physical properties to obtain results uh, for efficiency um, assessment. So um, the selected recurrent neural network was first uh, trained, then test, and then simulated on the corresponding sets. Uh, each procedure was started only when um, the previous procedure, uh, so training in case of testing and uh, testing in case of simulation. 
was uh, considered to be successful. So carbon dioxide uh, error was set to zero because the content of this component is input value and considered to be known. So uh, the calculated composition of uh, simulation uh, set was transmitted, transmitted to energy uh, uh, parameters calculation block. Uh, and uh, so I would like to uh, show results of uh, model uh, efficiency on uh, training procedure, testing procedure, and simulation procedure. Uh, so we can see um, the decreasing of accuracy characteristics uh, that should be noted in future um, cases uh, that our uh, model can be uh, tuned. Maybe uh, there are parameters that can be tuned more uh, in next uh, next uh, iterations of our work. So, um, like I said, uh, the calculated composition by the model uh, on simulation stage were transmitted to energy uh, parameter calculation block. So, uh, theoretical values of natural gas uh, energy parameters was used as reference data, and uh, we mm, need to uh, assess how efficient uh, is our model and our system in whole to produce the uh, target uh, energy um, gas parameters. So uh, the volumetric, uh, the volumetric uh, superior prolific value and wobble index are two main uh, Yes, energy parameters. Then uh, they should uh, they were taken into account in uh, our uh, work. So these parameters were calculated using determined uh, composition by the model and compared with uh, reference data. So the maximum absolute error of uh, gas quality parameter determination is less than the allowable error uh, that is equal to 0 0.1 uh, megajoule per cubic meters. So uh, the allowable error is uh, a permissible deviation of gas quality parameters uh, determination for um, the first accuracy class according to current uh, regulatory documents. So um, the first graph shows the deviations for uh, volumetric superior value. And the second uh, graph shows the deviations for the wobble index. So we can see from both graphs that uh, accuracy of um, determination of, uh, of energy parameters is uh, considered to be successful because uh, the highest uh, error, the highest deviation, uh, does not exceed the allowable uh, error. Mm, that is equal to uh, 0 0.1, like I said. Uh, so for conclusion, I would like to mention that uh, the natural gas quality parameters determination system was proposed. So the main advantages of the system uh, are the high adaptability of system and uh, capability of operation in real time in comparison with um, systems that are uh, uh, that are used in uh, industry uh, nowadays. So uh, the target of gas quality uh, properties, so they were determined by the system um, using uh, determined by uh, statistical model composition. And uh, these par uh, parameters were compared with uh, reference data and uh, uh, 
the deviation of uh, deviation between the uh, determinant parameters and reference parameters uh, was not exceed the allowable uh, value of this parameter. So um, further research uh, that we will conduct uh, will be uh, dedicated to model and system testing on uh, experimental data and, uh, like I said, adjusting uh, uh, a few uh, tunable parameters of statistical models to obtain uh, the uh, higher high accuracy of composition determination. So I would like to um, thank you for attention and uh, I uh, can answer the questions if you have any questions. Yes, thank you so much, Ivan. Uh, there is a question, at least I see the raised hand by Elmira. Please, Elmira, address your question. Yes, uh, I have only one question. Would you want to explain uh, what is the reason for jumps in errors on the slide 20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't understand exactly what these jumps in errors mean in absolute error. What is the reason for these jumps? Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. as you can see from the graph, so there are um, different values or different um, values of the deviation. So, on this uh, part of graph, we can see that the deviation is completely high and um, is close to the limiting value. And uh, on the other sections of graph, we can see that um, the deviation is uh, low. Uh, it can, uh, so we can um, make, uh, um, make a conclusion that um, different guess uh, mixtures were used in uh, simulation. Uh, procedure. So, for example, this uh, parts of graph uh, addresses uh, the uh, mixtures that considered to be easy for our model uh, because they are close to uh, mixtures uh, that were used in um, testing and training stages. And uh, this parts of the graph addresses to the mixtures that uh, are mm, uh, completely different from uh, training and uh, testing um, mixtures. So, uh, like I said, this uh, data division on three sets were used, uh, was used to um, check the model efficiency because uh, when we start to uh, assess uh, to simulate our model on real data, we can um, obtain the data that uh, is not close to our training data. That's mm -hmm. why our model uh, should um, act uh, on these uh, deviations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any more questions, please? Well, let me then ask one general question. So normally when you are talking about the uh, the neural network, it's something like a black box, right? So that you have to guess. I mean, the, the explanatory power of the model itself is a bit uh, uh, not, not that powerful like with the, with the open models like the stochastic models, but still uh, the, the model performs good as you showed. Uh, so the, uh, just a general question is, uh, do you consider the parameter tuning of the of the neural networks as a separate mathematical problem? Uh, so we uh, tuned uh, a few parameters of neural network, uh, like I said, uh, a, a number of neurons in hidden layer, but the majority of mathematical, uh, let's say, mathematical basis of neural network we uh, use as a uh, complete, uh, complete developed uh, structure. 
So we just uh, use uh, neural network as a um, tool for uh, determination of our parameters. So all um, architectures that we uh, use in our uh, research are known uh, and uh, known and considered to be, uh, let's say, uh, more uh, popular uh, architectures for um, solving the task tasks in uh, gas industry. So uh, that's why we only tune uh, one parameter of our models and the other parameters such as um, activation fu function, uh, so amount of layers, uh, we uh, keep the uh, let's say developed for the previous uh, researches. Yes, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Ivan.